Hey everybody, today we're getting into the chi-squared test for homogeneity. We're in this situation where we're measuring one categorical variable across two groups and asking whether the groups are different or not, whether they come actually from the same population. Here's an example. We've got people under 50 and people over 50 and we're asking them, do you agree with the statement, I prefer to work from home as much as possible? You can either agree, be neutral, or disagree. Here are our totals. Um, do young and old people prefer working from home in equal proportions? So um, we've got a null hypothesis that the probability of agreeing with that statement is the same in either group. The probability of being neutral is the same in either group, and so on. We want to use a chi-square test on this table, and in order to do that, we're going to need expected cell counts, of course, as usual. So how are we going to do it? Well, under the null hypothesis, we expect that the corresponding respondents are going to have equal proportions in each group. The same proportion in group A and group B is going to agree. The same proportion is going to be neutral. The same proportion is going to disagree. And if, in fact, those proportions are the same, they'll also be the same as the pooled proportions. Um, so the overall proportion that agree, neutral, disagree. So let's get those pooled proportions. We take the total number that agree and take it over the total number period. The total number that are neutral, take it over the total number period, and so on. Um, we're going to multiply those by the different row totals, and those are going to give us expected cell counts. Here's what we get. As usual, we don't worry if our expected counts aren't integers. And now we're going to compute a chi-squared statistic in the usual way. We're going to do the values we got minus the ones we expected, square it, and divide by the predicted number, the expected number. Add all those up, you get the chi-squared statistic. There's the calculation. We get 6.84. Last thing we got to do before we compute a p-value is to talk about degrees of freedom. So in this case, we have two independent samples, one for each row. So we're starting with um, four degrees of freedom. We had six total cells. We take away those two for the, the two independent samples. We also have to take away two degrees of freedom because we estimated two parameters, one for each column, except the last, which is determined by the other two. So overall, we've got two degrees of freedom. Um, we compute the p-value as usual in a chi-square distribution probability that chi squared is greater than or equal to that 6.84 that we got um, in chi squared of 2 and we get 0.033. So this provides good evidence against the null hypothesis. We have good reason to believe that in fact these two groups, um, young people and old people, are different in their opinions about working from home. 